Hi everyone. Today I am doing a very simple but important thing. I am roasting vegetables. Now we all know how important vegetables are for your overall health, but sometimes figuring out which vegetables to cook and how to cook them, uh, that can sometimes come in the way of adding it quickly to a meal. Roasting your vegetables can be a solution. It is quick, it requires very little seasonings and very little prep. You know, you just wash them, you cut them up, you add some olive oil, a few powdered seasonings here and there. You place them on a tray into the oven and voila, all right? You have amazing vegetables to go on the side. I grabbed whatever odd veggies I had in my fridge and so today I am using some grape tomatoes. And then I have some beets. I have some bell peppers, red, green, and yellow. I have some sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and some cauliflower. Let's go. So to the beets that I've just cut up, I will add some olive oil to it and just a couple powdered seasonings. I will add some onion powder, just a little bit, and some garlic powder and mix it up. And by the way, you can add whatever seasonings you like. I wanna place it on a tray and make sure that I spread it out in one layer and set it aside. So to the bell peppers, I'll just be adding some olive oil, some garlic powder, some salt, and some black pepper. And again, I'm gonna give it a, a good mix. And place it on the baking sheet in one layer. So I want uh, to note that all of the vegetables are washed really well and cut up in their skins because I want to make sure that I maximize, you know, the nutrients. And so to the uh, sweet potatoes, all I'm going to be adding is some olive oil. That is all I add to my sweet potatoes. Sometimes I will add a little bit of rosemary, but that's it. So we're gonna place them on the baking sheet again and kinda of, um, give them some space so that they will be in one layer. Now onto the Brussels sprouts. All I'm doing is cutting these in halves and I'm adding some olive oil, some onion powder. You can add some garlic powder also if you wish or you can add just garlic powder. I think I wanted these to be well oiled so that they can roast really well to the cauliflower and I just had like a little piece in my fridge so that is going to go into the mix as well and again I'm going to add some olive oil some garlic powder some onion powder a little bit of salt and mix them all up and place it on a tray in a single layer and that's it the last thing to do is to cut up the tomatoes and I love great tomatoes that are roasted because I will kind of add some Italian flavor to it and it is so good when you do it that way so of course we're gonna add some olive oil some garlic powder some onion powder and some oregano Ooh, that adds so much flavor to it of course, I will add a touch of salt. 
and give everything a mix. And I'm gonna leave it in that pan because I didn't have another sheet to add it to. So um, please put your tomatoes on a sheet because the deeper the pan, it would yield more water. And that is what happened uh, with me. It was not bad at all, but I would have preferred it with uh, less uh, liquid. So there you have it. So now we're gonna just toss these in the oven. Make sure your oven is set to 425 degrees. We want the oven to be hot, not 350 because the vegetables will yield water. You want high heat to roast the vegetables. So 425 is optimal. It is finished. Guys, look at these vegetables, how beautifully roasted they are. <laughs> and I have to tell you, all you need to do is to toss them all together and you have a wonderful batch of tasty vegetables. Or if you want, just leave them separate. Whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, that is what you do. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. So until the next video, stay safe.